Hi, Tom here at Imagine Forum, and I just wanted to do a quick review of the Glowforge. Um, I've done a couple videos in the past, and I missed my third year review. So this has now been about three and a half years that I've had the Glowforge. And again, I can't say anything bad about it. The thing has been a workhorse constantly this past three years. You can see it behind me. It's kind of a mess. It doesn't get a whole lot of maintenance. I clean it out every so often, but I wanted to point out that the laser tube I use almost daily, the, the laser cutter in the tube hasn't lost any power. I'm still using my same settings that I always have since I got it. In the past three and a half years, there's been numerous updates to the software. And it's just, it's just great. You can see it's a very well used machine. There's my material piles, I mean, I use it constantly. So one of the bigger updates is there's now a subscription plan for the Glowforge. It's important to know that you don't need to pay for this subscription in order to use the machine. It's an add-on. They've added some nice features to the computer user interface that are worth paying for for some people. I personally do use it. There's a few features in there that are nice to have. Not necessary, but nice to have. So again, three and a half years, and I can't say enough about this machine. It's been great since the start, and I still love it. If you have any questions at all about the Glowforge or what it can do, what it can cut, what it can't cut, um, let me know. Um, I will answer them in the comments. I get back to most questions pretty quickly, and I don't mind helping people make the right decision. All right, thanks.